Hey girls, Julia here. I'm excited to bring you another Pilates workout today. It is a full body workout and will be no longer than 25 minutes. It is one of my favorite workouts, so I'm so excited to take you through it. It is gonna be a, um, a follow along style, so just if you're a beginner, just make sure you really listen to my cues. And if you are an expert, I challenge you to really get that mind to body connection and take your workout to that next level. So we're gonna be working the arms, the core, the glutes and the legs today. Let's get into it. Um, actually, before we get started, make sure you have a glass of water or a, a drink bottle close by and just sip away throughout the workout. If at any point you feel something doesn't feel right, um, make sure you contact a guardian or a parent. Okay, all right, let's go and get started on our back. We're gonna first get into the core and really warm it up. So feet are flat on the ground and we're gonna have a nice long spine. Take a deep breath in and we're gonna slowly curl the back and start to lower the body to the floor. You really using the core to slow you down and inhale to reach again. Exhale to curl it up without any momentum. Curling up vertebrae by vertebrae and reaching up. Let's just go a couple more times now. Curling down. Reach it back. And one last time. We're going to reach up. Inhale, exhale, curl. And this time we're going to stay down on the ground. All right, extend those arms back, inhale, and then exhale, bring the hands down either side. All right, so when your hands are down here, you can really press them into the ground and really start to use or activate the back of the arms. All right, so hands, fingertips, place them on your hips, and you're going to breathe in and breathe out. I really want you to think about your lower core, okay? So that is where we're going to be activating and turning on. We're going to draw it in. And you should feel in your hip bones a little spongy muscle just by in front of your hip bones or inside your hip bones. That should engage as you exhale. All right, so now we're going to move into a tabletop position. So lift your left leg up and lift your right leg you should really feel that spongy little cushion activate now. And now you can place your hands to the ground. All right, we're gonna tap the right leg down, keeping the angle, and then tap the left leg. Inhale to tap, exhale to lift for eight, seven, six, five, breathing through it, four, three, two and one now lift the legs back up to tabletop now you're going to lower both legs and lift even if you just go a couple of inches and lift that is fine the aim is to tap the toes on the ground and lift inhale and exhale for eight seven six we don't want you arching back too much. If you are, then just bring up that range of motion. Three, two, one, and lower the legs to the ground. And now shake those knees from side to side. So you should feel a little bit of warmth now into that lower core, just as we're warming the body up. Okay, now we're gonna go into a basic crunch. So getting now into that upper, the upper abs. I still want you to think about breathing through the lower core or into your diaphragm. All right, place the hands behind your head and cradle the head. Your elbows are gonna be nice and wide. We're gonna tuck the chin in and crunch it up and down. Exhale to crunch, inhale to go down for eight, seven, nice and dynamic, six, five, don't pull on the neck, four, three, two, one, and now we're gonna extend that right leg long, and now you're gonna crunch from and bring the left elbow to right knee. Inhale to reach, 
Exhale to crunch. For eight, seven, six, nice work. Five, ring out that waist. Four, three, two, and one. Now switching sides, so extend that left leg out. We're gonna crunch over, elbow to knee, inhale to reach, exhale to crunch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now legs back down, release those arms to your side. And now you can actually place your fingertips. We're going to get back into that tabletop position again. Okay, so breathing in, breathing out, getting set up. Now we're going to extend the legs long. Turn the knees out so it takes the pressure off the hips. Okay, now place the arms down. We're just going to open and close. To make it a little bit easier, you can lift the legs up. To make it harder, you can make the or extend the legs out longer. Okay, so open and close for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, hug them in, and just rock from side to side to just give the abs a little bit of a break. All right, and so now place the legs on the ground. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, now place the fingertips back onto those hips. And now lift the legs back up into tabletop. We're just going to lift up and lower. So it's just a small little lift, really using the lower core to lift yourself up and press through those hands. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, and now just to finish here, arms behind the head, and we're just going to alternate from side to side, really dynamic, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, rock those knees to the left, rock those knees to the right, a couple more. Take the pressure off that core. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Okay. Have a sip of water if you need to and just rock your body onto your front. Now we're going to bring a little bit of the arms or the shoulders into this. Tie it in with the core. So what I want you to do is go down into an elbow plank. So here we want your shoulder stacked over your elbow and you can have your hands nice and straight in front of you. All right, we're going to put, uh, extend that right leg back onto the toes and then now moving into an elbow plank. So we should be nice and one nice long line here, not slumping down or pushing up. Using the core to keep ourselves nice and strong, squeeze the bum, tap the right knee, tap the left knee. Alternating from side to side for eight, seven, six, five, Four, keep that bum down. Three, two, one. And now rocking over to that left elbow and turn the body to open. So your top leg should be stacked in front of the back leg. And we're going to inhale to reach, exhale to thread. Inhale to reach, exhale to thread. For eight, seven, six, five, four, awesome work, three, two, remember to breathe, inhale to reach, and one, now we can just hold here and we're just going to lift and lower, lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower it down, you should feel that side body firing up and we're just going to gracefully switch over to the other side and get straight into it. So right elbow is down now, stacked underneath the shoulder, pushing up, 
top leg is stacked in front of the right leg or the bottom leg. We're going to reach up, inhale, exhale to thread. Inhale to reach, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Holding up here, hand on hip, and we're just going to lower and lift. Just a small movement for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Amazing, amazing work, everyone. Have a quick drink if you need to. Sip on that water. Okay, now we're gonna take it up a little bit higher to a high plank. Hands flat on the ground, shoulder is stacked over the hands. Spread those fingers nice and wide. And you're gonna extend the legs out, same positioning. Activating the core, squeezing the bum, and we're just gonna tap opposite shoulders from side to side, keeping your body as still as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, control, three, two, one, nice work. Knees to the ground, pushing back into child's pose. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. All right, so now we're just gonna go into a bit of a push up now. Now what I want you to think about is you lower to the ground. Your elbows wanna be at about an, an, up, well, an upside down V. Not here, not too tight. We wanna be about here, okay? So we're gonna stay on the knees and we're gonna have those um, the shoulders stacked over the hands and we're just going to lower them back lower your body to the ground push it up and sit back for eight keeping it moving seven nice work six five keeping the body strong through the core four three two and one pushing back now to child's pose nice work all right staying here on all fours we're now going to extend one leg and go into a more of a tricep press up actually first i'll just show you to get into the triceps now we're going to go nice and tight so as we lower we're going to really hug those elbows right in as we lower okay so getting into that all fours position extend the right leg back squeeze the glutes and now we're going to lower the body to the ground elbows are nice and tight and we're going to push back up knee to nose stretching back so that is one knee to nose for seven six Awesome work. Five. Four. Extend that leg nice and long. Three. Elbows are tight. Two. And one. Now pushing up here. Extend that leg. Feel like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. And we're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Soft bend in the elbows out of the shoulders for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna bend that leg and flex the foot. We're gonna lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee down, open, back down, and kick it up. Open and kick for eight, seven. Now transfer the weight into that right hand if we're lifting up that right leg. Four, three, 
two, all in the glutes, one, and then hold it up. We're going to draw some big circles with the knee for five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. So pressure in that right hand to keep us stable, two, one, and now hold it up, flex that foot, and we're just going to go double time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower it down. Pushing back into child's pose. And swiftly, I'm just going to move around to the other side so you can see me. We're going to do everything again on the other side. So starting with that tricep push-up where the elbows are tight, extend that left leg long. We're going to lower, tuck those elbows in, push it up, knee to nose, and extend for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good work, two, and one, you know the drill, we're holding up here in that high plank and we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flexing the foot, we're going to lift and lower for eight, seven, really squeeze the bum. Five, four, three, two, one. Now lower that knee to the floor and open up to the side. Kick it back. Open and kick for eight. Pressure in the left hand. Six. Great work. Hold on to that core. Four, three, Two, big squeeze, one, and now circle forward for five, drawing big circles, two, one, and reverse, five, four, three, two, one, now flex that foot up, get yourself nice and centre, and we're just going to go double time to finish for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, pushing back into child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right, have another drink. Give those shoulders, uh, wrists a little bit of a shake up, and we can give the shoulders a little bit of a boogie, a little bit of a roll out too. Okay, the last piece here. We're finishing today with more into the arms. It's a really short, sharp little piece. So let's stick through it. You'll get a little bit of a burn down the back of the arms. It'll be great. Let's get into it. So sitting back onto your bum again, feet are planted on the floor. We're going to have the hands placed to the ground and you want to um, you want your hands facing towards your feet. All right, so pushing up, hovering your glutes or your bum off the floor, and we're going to lower down and lift. Elbows to the wall behind you and lift. To make it a little bit harder, you can stretch those legs out a little bit further. For eight, seven, six, nice and straight with those elbows. Five, four, Three, two, one, double time for eight, seven, six, feel the fire, five, four, three, two, one. Now push it up into reverse tabletop and we're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one and 
lower down. Awesome work, everyone. Have a quick drink and we'll get into a little bit of a stretch to close. Okay, so bring that left leg on top of the right leg. Get those sit bones nice and even and we're going to take a deep breath in and out. Now twisting around. This should really open up the hip and give you a nice little twist through the spine, other side. Using the breath. All right, now keep your bottom leg on the ground and we'll whip that top leg round and we'll just sit here in a pigeon pose just for a short moment. Getting into these glutes that we work today. Now, 20 minutes or 25 minutes is all you need to have a really good workout. I don't know about you, but my body is tingling the backs of my arms, my glutes and my core. We worked all of that today. All right, bring that leg back and we'll switch. So left leg now is tucked under and we're sitting here nice and even. And now we twist. Doesn't matter which side you start with. And then other side. All right, now top leg whips behind you. Leave that bottom leg there. And we're just going to sit here and get into these glutes. Every time you exhale, just let it go. Nice work. All right, rocking out of that now. I'm just going to sit here with our legs crossed. Now we did get into the back of the arms today, so lift your left arm up and place it down the mid of your back. And all you're going to do here is push down on the elbow. Now feeling like you're pushing down, but at the same time, you're pushing your elbow, your armpit forward. Breathing through it. Every time you breathe out, push the elbow down a little bit deeper and the armpit a little bit further forward. All right, shake it up. Other side. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Breathing through your lower belly. Nice work. All right, and just to finish, let's interlock the fingers behind the body. Stretch them behind you. And we're gonna take a deep breath in. And we're gonna fold forward. Take another deep breath in. And folding forward again. And unlock the hands. We are done, girls. Well done for getting through. You can do this again at any point. It is now, the video is here, it is uploaded, and it will stay here. So if you really enjoyed that, I'm so excited. Have a great day or whatever time it is, and I'll catch you for another Pilates session at any point. See you later.